Hey, what's going on? I'd like to welcome you to Water Your Soil. So I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video because you saw the words MX Platinum. MX Platinum is easily one of the most polarizing credit cards that's out there. A lot of people want to get their hands on this card. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you through uh, how you can have this card. That's right, this card, the Amex Platinum, how you can have this card in your possession in 2022, all right? So we're gonna get into it, let's go. So you may have been seeing the videos all over YouTube. You know, Amex Platinum this, Amex Platinum that. How can you get your hand on the Amex Platinum? I'm pretty sure some of you even have received pre-approvals in the mail from Amex regarding the Amex Platinum. And you're probably curious, like, should I get this card? I see it's a $695 annual fee. Do I really wanna go through with a credit card that has an annual fee of $695? Now, if you answered that question for yourself, this video is for you, especially if the answer to that question is yes because a lot of times you're on the fence with whether or not you actually want to go through with a credit card that has an annual fee for $695. To the common person, I'm pretty sure that it's ridiculous for a credit card to even have an annual fee of $695. But I'll be the first to tell you as an Amex Platinum member, I have been a Platinum member for over a year now. And as an Amex Platinum member, I'll be the first to tell you that you get a lot of perks and benefits that kind of make you forget about that $695 annual fee. So if you're someone who doesn't mind the $695 annual fee, then you may want to consider, you know, signing up for Amex Platinum because I think the car is a great car to have and I have been happy with it this whole year that I had it. Previously, before upgrading to the Platinum card, I had the Amex Gold card. That is also a great card to have. During the year that I had the Amex Gold card, I really enjoyed it from the perks and the free food every month that you get. It was a good card to have in my possession and it also let me get used to having a charge card because that was the first time that I was in possession of a charge card, meaning the card that I had to pay off the balance every month. Now, prior to that, I was paying off the balance every month on all my cards. That's just the mentality that I had ever since like seven years ago. I had the mentality of paying off my card every month. So what I mean by paying off my card, I mean my full statement balance. So the adjustment for me wasn't hard to adjust to the goal and the platinum card was just a continuation of what I was doing with the gold as far as paying my full statement balances every month. But some of you may be here because you're wondering how in the world can you qualify for the Amex Platinum card this year, 2022? Well, I'm gonna tell you the way that I refer people to go about doing it. Now, there are different ways to go about doing it. And I'm gonna refer my way. So I don't wanna hear or see in the comment section, oh, this person said do it this way and they said don't do it that way. Listen, everyone has their own way with going about doing things. Over here at Water Your Soil, I walk people through the way how I went about doing things as well as the many people that I have taught over the years. So one thing in regards to Amex that you wanna do is probably start with their no annual fee credit cards. You have the Blue Cash card, you have the Magnet card, they have a couple of no annual fee cards that you can start with. And this is January right now, so it's the beginning of the year, so it's the perfect time to start because that'll give you at least 11 months to really end this year with the Platinum card in your possession if you do what you need to do. Now, if you do apply for one of those no annual fee American Express credit cards and you do get approved, what you're gonna do is you're gonna use your card, you're gonna pay off your full statement balance every month. So whatever your full statement balance is, you're gonna pay it off every month. And you're gonna do this for a good six to 12 months. It may not even take that long, but you wanna do this consistently for a good six to 12 months paying off your full statement balance. Now what this is gonna do, and I made a video about this so you can check it out. It's a video about this and I'm gonna leave it at the end of this video. But what that's gonna do is 
you're going to build a rapport with Amex and it's going to build up trust. And eventually you'll start to see them offering you to upgrade to their platinum card. They're going to offer this if you are someone who you're spending money and you're paying off your full statement balance, which means you're capable of paying them their money back in full. And that's a little proof to them that you may be able to manage one of their charge cards, either the gold or the platinum card. Now, some people have an issue with paying off for a statement balances. But if you are someone who eventually want to qualify for the platinum card, and let's say your credit is not currently good enough or your income is not currently good enough to qualify, building up a rapport with Amex is a great way to go about doing it. So like I said, if you start off the year and it's January right now, and let's say you go and you apply and you get approved and you get your credit card in January or beginning of February, and you start, you know, you spend and you pay off your full statement balance, you spend, you pay off your full statement balance and so on and so forth. And this continues, like I said, there's a high possibility you are gonna start receiving offers from Amex for you to upgrade to either their gold or their platinum car. It happened for me and it happened for other people that I have helped over the years. So once this happens, it's strictly up to you whether or not you wanna go ahead and apply for the gold or platinum car. Now, since the gold or platinum card is different from their regular credit cards, you will have to apply for the Amex Gold or Platinum card. So just know you will also be able to keep your current credit card that you apply for, whether it's the Cash Magnet, the Blue Cash, whichever card you decide to go with and get approved for, you'll be able to keep that as well as upgrade to the Platinum card or the Gold card, it's strictly up to you. Now, if your lifestyle revolves more around being at home and let's say you go to work but you're at home most of the time or you go out to eat with your friends then you may want to consider the Amex Gold card because that card your points add up quick when you do those things like go grocery shopping a lot because you cook at home or you go out to eat a lot you know that's a great card for those things however if you're someone who travels a lot and you want to receive those travel benefits that come along with the Amex Platinum card and the free airport lounge access and TSA pre-check, global entry, and all types of perks that I get it from the offers. If you're someone that want those type of perks, then the Amex Platinum may be the card that you want to upgrade to and apply for. But I say the easiest way to really access the Amex Platinum card if you don't have excellent credit or high income with excellent credit would be to build a rapport with Amex and start with one of their no annual fee credit cards. As I stated, I'm gonna post the video about building a rapport with Amex at the end of this video. I'll also post another video regarding the Amex Platinum card and how to go about applying for Amex and things of that nature. But anyways, this is Water Your Soil. I appreciate you all coming by my page. I also appreciate you all stopping by, asking questions. I love to answer your questions. If you're gonna ask questions, at least make sure that you subscribe. Also, one thing I would like to say, make sure that you do hit the like button if this video has helped you in any kind of way. Because the like button, as you all may know, I'm sure you heard other YouTubers say, the like button helps the algorithm and keep this video circulating. This is a new channel, this is Water Your Soil. So this channel is based on self-improvement, personal finances, improving your credit, credit card reviews, uh, airport lounge reviews, hotel reviews, all of those type of things. But anyways, this is Water Your Soil. I appreciate you all for stopping by. All right, I'm out.